Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and I have to admit I've been having way too much fun with the Mavic 2 Zoom that my son gave me uh, last year. <laughs> I've done all kinds of crazy stuff and enjoyed every second of it. Uh, I've dropped uh, glider airplanes from the sky. I've dropped uh, uh, things, uh, candy for the kids, and... Uh, many other things, but uh, in my last video I decided I would see if I could increase the range of my uh, drone by putting a aluminum foil reflector behind the antennas. And uh, believe it or not, it did increase my range. I haven't figured out the percentage, but it increased it enough to, to please me very much. And the only thing with aluminum foil is that, uh, you know, it's not very, <laughs> it's not very long lasting. Uh, although it's uh, inexpensive, you can just uh, steal it from your wife's kitchen. But uh, if she sees it laying around uh, and she says, what is this? Somebody had a sandwich or something and wads it up and throws it away. Then you have to steal some more and make a new one. And so I got to thinking, um, you know, I've made so many things out of pop cans. <laughs> the glider was made out of pop cans. Um, I've made toys for my grandson. Uh, I made him a Jeep. It looks kind of like a Jeep. I made him a tank, which that was my first project. It doesn't look too good. And so I decided, okay, now I think what I'll do is I'll make a uh, signal booster out of a pop can. Actually, a pop can is too small. But the uh, Arizona T uh, is just the right size as, as, uh, as I was working on it. <clears throat> of course, it's not free. Um, it costs a little more than your wife's tinfoil. But I, I cut it apart and uh, made a what appears to be a pretty decent reflector. And um, I took it out this morning and I tested it to see uh, if it would go the same distance as my tinfoil and it did it went the same distance as the tinfoil and I also compared it with uh, Amazon's uh, <laughs> Amazon's choice and uh, so uh, between the aluminum can and Amazon's choice I ran a test and <clears throat> I'm going to have to run some more tests, but uh, I'll show you the results of that test. Uh, you can't go by the, the results of a single test if you're really making a study. I started at the same time of morning, roughly, as I did with the tinfoil. And I didn't show the entire video on this. I just started at about 7,000 feet away from the house. And I was beginning to get uh, interference from uh, usually it's things cars going by and stuff like that so anyway as you can see we're uh, approaching the same intersection and the picture on the left is the Amazon choice booster and the picture on the right is the Arizona booster <laughs> And you can see I was starting to get uh, failures with both of them. And I will say that there's not a whole lot of difference in the uh, distance. It looks like maybe about uh, 100 feet. And uh, the, the picture on the left is the Amazon Choice. And as you can see, uh, it was already turning around and coming home. Uh, and the one on the right was when I started losing uh, my ability to control the, the drone, I turned around and came back home. And the Amazon Choice uh, looks like it made it to about uh, 8,402 feet, as I could see the maximum. And the, uh, Amazon, the Arizona <laughs> made it to uh, about another 100 feet. Uh, 8,504 feet. So this wasn't a very accurate test. We'll see what we can do to uh, to uh, run another test and face another direction. Well, I want to thank you for watching and God bless.